or cut it home and today I'd like to make a pocket mini album that will be using these graphic 45 journaling and ephemera cards from the time to flourish collection this is an absolutely stunning collection and they go through um, every day of the month so like for February it's it's got a little Valentine theme and as you can see these are just gorgeous so I plan to use a silhouette cut that will hold these four by six journaling cards along with photos um, and on the back they have where you can journal as well or add a photo if the person chooses to do that so again I'm using a silhouette cut I'll have all the information in the description box along with Cut at Home's blog on the design number and all the products that I use but I will also at the end of this video share with you how to make the base of this out of paper if you do not have a silhouette so if you do not have a silhouette but you still want to make something similar to this then stay tuned for the end of the video and let's go ahead and get started so I cut out all my pieces and I will be using um, the Prima Tea Time collection along with this only because I no longer have the Time to Flourish 12 by 12 collection I would highly recommend if you have that to use that for your decorative pages because uh, number one it'll match perfectly and number two it is gorgeous papers so I'm just using what I have on hand here I did some of the prep work off camera like I, I added my tape I'm using the Angel Craft tape in one quarter inch this is a very strong tape and I'm also using some black soot distress ink and I went around most of all my papers I left a couple of them just to show you how I edge them I'm just doing a light edging with the black soot And these are matte pieces for the front of my pockets. Okay, so I'll set those aside. Now this is a design by Lori Whitlock. And so it comes pre-scored. I want to show you how to put it together and like I said I will have instructions of how to make your own if you don't have this cameo cut so you just follow the score lines use your bone folder to get a good crease and you do want to make sure that all your pages are folded the same this is a side tab that she already put in the cut for you to adhere them together I know it's a little bit difficult to see with the black so I'll try and give you the best lighting possible to show you but you just want to add glue on these two tabs here leave this tab untouched at this point And just make sure that's adhered very well so now this tab here it also has a score mark we will be using this to attach to our other pages and with her design um, there are six pockets that you'll be making and it works out perfect because there's 12 of the um, journaling cards so I will put two in each pocket so as you can see these fit perfectly in here and you can use any four by six cards um, I love these time to flourish cards I think what these will be great for is to add photos as well for maybe that month of January with maybe some special dates and some journaling about that month that's my plans with this so there are six of these let me zoom back out just a little So I have all six of my pages together and I'm going to adhere them to each other with the tabs that are already included. Okay, so I'm going to do that first. And 
And you just want to make sure that they line up very well. And I like to make sure that the edges line up perfectly. So as you can see, that's how they will glue together. Now we do have matte pieces to cover these lines up. But we'll do that after we glue all of these together. I'm going to add my next three pages just the same way and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've completed all six of my pages and as you can see they're adhered down to each other. So let me set those aside and I'll give it just a little bit longer to really set up and let the glue dry. Now there, are, here is the cover of the book, the front and the back cover. And it comes with a bracket edge and it comes with the score marks. And you want to adhere these two pieces together. And it doesn't really matter whether you glue it on top or on the bottom because either way you're going to have a um, cover piece or a mat to cover that tab. So I'm going to adhere it on the bottom. The reason I'm choosing to do it this way is I can see my score mark and this way I can get it perfectly where I want. The other way I'm sort of guessing exactly where my score mark is. And you want to glue it up to the score mark but not over it. So my book will fold like this, and this will be a gusset on the left side of my book and a gusset on the right side of my book. So now the next thing I want to do is add my pages to it. And you have this tab from the last pocket it also cuts out another tab, so we're going to adhere this to both sides of the book, right in the middle of where that gusset is. And you only want to add glue to your tabs. So I'm going to apply the glue. And I'm just putting it right here in that spine. Also going to lay it down to make sure that it is even at the top here and then once I'm happy I'm going to press that down and make sure it's adhered very well. So now we want to add our tab to this and also the front of our book. And I do try to not get too much glue on the edge so it doesn't glue onto this page. Again, I'm really pressing that down, make sure it's adhered well. So here is the base of our book. Next thing we 
we want to do is go ahead and add on our cover pieces. Like I said, I did add glue. I did not, or um, the Angel Craft tape to the edges. I did not add it here because I will go ahead and add wet glue here and the tape on the straight edges. So I will fast forward through this part. Okay, so I added all my matting for my pockets, and I also added the mat that goes on this side. So now I need to add my pieces to the inside of the front and back, so I will go ahead and do that. a magnet to keep this closed. You can add Velcro, but I want to add a magnet underneath my papers. That way you don't see them. And whenever I think I'm going to add a magnet, I always add a little note on my piece of paper so I don't forget because I've glued down my papers before and then realized I wanted to add a magnet. So I always do that. So I'll go ahead and use my glossy accents and add my magnet and then my pattern papers on top. So here is the base of my book. It's all put together with all the map pages on it. And I have my magnetic closure on the front. And now I can add my pages into this and then we can decorate the cover. So I'm going to add them um, two at a time.
Okay, so here is the book, the base of the book, and I want to show you um, how, if you do not have a Cameo, how you can make one of these that you saw earlier in the video. So here is a pocket. You want to cut your pocket to eight and a quarter by seven and an eighth, and I will show you quickly how to, or how I did this. Okay, so again, we're cutting it to eight and a quarter. By seven and one eighth. And then you want to go ahead and get your scoreboard out your stylus out. I'm using the one from the deluxe flower shaping kit. I love this one. And you want to score this at one half inches on both sides of the seven and one eighth side. So I have it to seven and one eighth, and I'm going to score it at one half inch. And I'm using thick paper, so I, or cardstock, so I like to do it twice. I'm flipping it all the way around so it's still on the seven and one eighth side, and I'm scoring it at one inch. Now I'm turning it to the eight and a quarter side. So again, eight and a quarter. And I'm scoring it at four and one eighths. All of these measurements will be on Cut at Home's blog if you need them again. Okay, so let me set this aside. And the next thing you wanna do is cut out two of your tabs. You can use your paper trimmer or your scissors, however you'd like to do it. So you wanna cut along those score lines up but not over the score line that we did at four and an eighth. So we're going to do the same on this side as well. Just follow that score mark, cutting up to the four and an eighth score mark but not over. And then I like to take this at a tiny angle. That way it leaves a little less bulk when you fold it. This is similar to how you make an envelope. So again, I'm cutting it at tiny angle, and this is what it should look like. So again, I still have my score marks, and you wanna go ahead and fold along those score marks. Give them a good crease with your bone folder. And add your glue to each of the tabs, just like we did with the cameo cut. Fold this over and press that down. Again, making sure you have a nice crease. So now you can leave your pocket as is, or you can add a decorative piece like we have in the book here. Um, just depending on what you have, I'm using a, a circle punch. I'm also going to use my ruler and just mark the center. I'll just quickly do this. So I'm just going to mark the center of that with my pencil. And now I'm going to use these marks on either side of my circle punch. That's the center of the circle. So I'm going to add, line those up with the edge of my paper and try and line up the middle of the paper as well. And punch that out. So now you have a pocket and you'll want to make six of these. The next thing you need to do is cut a hinge for the side for each pocket to adhere to the other pocket. So I cut my piece of paper at four inches by one and I scored it in half. And these are going to make my side taps. So now I'm going to glue them to the left side of my pocket. And this makes your hinge to be able to adhere to your next pocket. OK, 
Okay, so if we had six pockets here, I would now add this to the next pocket, which I will do quickly. And you want to make sure it's lined up. Okay, so you want to do that to all six of your pages. The next thing you want to do is make the outside cover of your book. So you want to cut two pieces. I won't, I won't actually show you how I cut these because um, it's obvious how to cut them. But you want to cut a piece eight and a half by four and a quarter from the left side of your eight and a half inch you want to measure up and score it at six and three sixteenths and six and eleven sixteenths. And now, if you want to cut this out with a decorative border, you can. Okay, and we'll go ahead and fold on those score marks. This is going to be the front cover of your book. The back of your book is going to be cut at seven and one eighths by four and one fourths. And on the four and a quarter side, you want to score it at one half inch and at one inch. So put it in your scoreboard like this. Score it at one half inch and then one inch. Okay, and we're going to adhere these two pieces together. Again, adding it up to the first score line, but not over the first score line. And this is going to give us the outside of our book, the wrap of our book. Okay, while well, I'm letting that sit and dry for a moment, so you need one last piece, and this is going to be the one more tab, and this will hold your front pocket to the base of your book. So this is one and a half by four, and you want to score it at three fourths. Okay, and what you're going to do is add this to the front pocket using some glue. Okay, make sure that is adhered well. And then if you watch the first part of the video, you're going to put that into your book the exact same way. So here are your gussets for your spine. Here's your front and your back spine. You're going to take, if you had six pockets here, you're going to add them into the middle here and you're going to glue this tab down to the front of the book. And you would also have a tab here that you will glue to the back of the book. And that will give you all of your pages. Okay, so I hope that helps. If you don't have a Cameo, this is, like I said, the same way to be able to make it. And you can add either a magnet closure or Velcro, however you'd like to do it.